Hi, my name is Dr. Gidon Janaon and this is my innovation called Integrated Solar Dryer or InSolar. So InSolar comprises of uh, several components. But the first component is uh, this what you see here. This is called Solar Heat Collector. And the concept of Solar Heat Collector is to absorb the uh, sunlight and heat up the material inside and it heats up uh, the air and the air become warmer and become lighter and it travels inside the uh, second component which is the uh, drying chamber. So what you see here, this is actually a greenhouse meaning to say this drying system comprises of uh, active and passive modes. This is the active modes and the passive mode when the, the hot air comes from the uh, solar heat collector. The uniqueness of this in innovation is we uh, install the, uh, the chimney. Uh, this is actually the, the chimney. And uh, the uniqueness of this uh, chimney is it, we actually extend the tube from the top to the middle of this drying house. Now what does this do? This actually force the hot air at the top of the solar canvas and it pushes the heat down and it goes being sucked into this um, extended chimney. So because of this uniqueness, it creates a chaotic uh, high movement of air inside the chamber in the house and it promotes uniform uh, heat temperature distribution Therefore, it promotes um, uniform drying. And what you see here, um, this is um, <coughs> uh, where we put the uh, tray and we can put the sample. And the hot air from the solar heat collector enters this uh, drying chamber through this tube, where the tube actually uh, brings up the hot air and there is a hole beneath this tube and uh, that um, <clears throat> uh, brings up the hot air. So this uh, really creates a high temperature that is uh, suitable for various uh, dry materials such as agricultural produce, um, fish, marine products, and as well as um, industrial products. This innovation is a collaboration between UMS and UMK where the IP of these innovations are, are shared between UMS and UMK. So the uh, unit you see here is in UMS. This is the capacity of uh, 200 kg. Whereas uh, another unit has been built in UMK and the capacity is uh, 2000 kg and it is currently uh, operational. And uh, this uh, IP has been uh, commercialized by a local company called Gosola. And uh, Gosola is uh, having the uh, right to uh, produce and market 